here at home. 7 First Alert meteorologist Don Paul tracking that 7 First Alert most accurate forecast. Don, we were out of the taste. Really great to see a lot of our viewers out there today. Yeah, really comfortable too. The humidity uh, very low, well, at least lower than you typically expect in July, and a brisk breeze keeping things moving. And around here tonight, that breeze continues on the hour as we showed you a few minutes ago. Let's look at the Almanac, which I show you from time to time to let you know where we stand. We made it to 78 and the so-called normal, uh, meteorologists really say average high for today is 80. The low this morning only 56, the average low is 62, and I'm expecting a low tomorrow morning of about 63. So uh, tomorrow humidity will be creeping up just a little bit, certainly not going to become sticky during the day. Weather headlines, a very pleasant night, not as cool as last night, but that humidity continues and allows us good sleeping weather, but please, no sleeping till we're done here. Humidity edges up tomorrow afternoon. Some of it gets organized into some scattered and occasional showers arriving mid or late afternoon, and then a little more activity tomorrow night and Tuesday and several days this week. 76 at the airport with a brisk breeze off the lake, even with the wind coming in off the lake, relative humidity only 45% relative to that temperature that's low and uh, the heat is building over the midwest and the plains 96 in st louis but the northeast almost every number you see here is below average minneapolis 84 that's close to their average this time of the year we do have a frontal boundary separating cooler air from our seasonable air mass the heat will stay out west but we will feel that humidity coming up more noticeably tomorrow night into uh, much of the week coming up. Not oppressive, but on the sticky side. Upper 70s to near 80 near the Lake Ontario shoreline. The Lake Erie breeze keeping our temperatures in the mid 70s in the metro area. And then as we drop into the higher elevations, a few degrees cooler, 73 at Arcade and only 71 at uh, Franklinville and 72 at Olean's Airport. So for tonight, good sleeping weather. Some patchy valley fog will again develop toward dawn. Then tomorrow, clouds will build humidity slowly coming up a little bit. And during the mid and late afternoon, a better chance of some garden variety showers could be a rumble of thunder. And I think our model is underplaying tomorrow night's activity. There will be some scattered showers and thunderstorms. When all is said and done, uh, heaviest rainfall amounts are likely over the hilly terrain. Same goes for Tuesday, but that doesn't mean we won't get anything up here. So your first alert forecast, a low of 63, but down to the low 50s in some of the valleys where some fog will form. Tomorrow, some sun, then clouds build up a little more humid in the afternoon with a couple of late afternoon or mid afternoon showers, maybe a rumble of thunder. Then tomorrow night, noticeably more humid with some scattered and occasional showers and thunderstorms. And then on Tuesday, some scattered and occasional showers and storms. Temperature not especially warm, but it will be muggy nonetheless. Still muggy on Wednesday with uh, dry conditions most of the day, but late in the day, some new showers and thunderstorms arrive, continuing into portions of Thursday, maybe a few showers and storms on a partly sunny Friday. Saturday, we dry out and we get more comfortable next weekend, but Sunday, we may see a few showers and storms return. A lot of uh, touch and go kind of storms this week. All right, and well, it was a beautiful weekend, so we had yeah. that. Yes, we did. All right, Don, thank you. Next here with What's Next in Sports. Yeah, beautiful weekend, and the stands inside Harbor Center packed to the brim for development camp. Yeah, day two continuing today.